Now, fans of the show Shipwrecked will no doubt recognise my guest tonight. Chris Jammer, who's from Burnt Oak, starred in the last series. Here's a reminder. I'm six foot six, plus the pineapple, which probably makes it about six foot eight. I would describe myself as fun-loving, sometimes shy, but always kind. Well, he's about to embark on a completely different challenge, a trek along the Great Wall of China in memory of his mum, who sadly passed away a year ago. And Chris is here to tell us more about it. Chris, thank you so much for coming in to Thanks talk to me, me today. And it's a really poignant day for you, because it's exactly a year since your mum, Annabelle, passed away. It's got to have been a pretty tough day for you then today. <sighs> yeah, it's been a really interesting day for me today, because obviously a year on from her death, I think grieving is a ongoing process mm -hmm. but doing this really positive thing for grief and cancer this charity mm -hmm. of my choice um has really switched it all up and turned a negative uh, into a positive for me so i've been really empowered by all the messages i've got mm -hmm. um and just doing something to honor her memory yeah tell me a bit about the charity grief encounter it specifically works with young people going yes. through grief doesn't it so when i was 17 grief encounter actually reached out to me mm. uh, to offer me bereavement counseling when i lost both my grandparents uh, to a car crash Goodness. um and the therapy that myself and my sister re received um was incredibly beneficial for both, for both of us um, and it was a really difficult time because um my mum had just been diagnosed with terminal cancer mm -hmm. um and i think that therapy was amazing and it's been the only time I've actually used um, help from a charity and I just wanted to use this platform off the back of reality TV yeah. uh, to give back and do something good. Yeah, well, you really are. Let's talk about your challenge and the next challenge. To trek the Great Wall of China. Goodness me, it happens in October. Yeah. Um, you look like you're in shape. Uh, what kind yeah. of uh, preparation <laughs> are you going to have to do for this? It's um, a big one, isn't it? Yeah, it's big. I think I'm going to have to get my fitness in check. Um, it's a long <laughs> old walk and I'm not sure exactly. I need to do some research about what the mm. terrain and the weather's going to be like. But I'm really looking forward to it. And um, actually, off the back of today, my best friend has signed up to join me on the trek as oh, well wow. who recently he lost his father a few years ago yeah. so it's gonna be a really special um experience for me yeah i'm sure your fans will be rooting you on it's interesting to me because your your mum passed away just a few months before you went onto the show shipwreck yeah. but you said that being part of the show was it kind of helped your healing process yeah i think being away from london um I, I actually having my mum there with me in a way um was brilliant for me because my mum loved to travel and she loved to see new places mm. so i'm just using her memory to um spur me on and do things that she would have wanted to do herself yeah. so i think shipwreck was great for that and i think going to china and doing and exploring that is going to be great as well yeah and very quickly for any young people watching out that have been through what you've been through what would you say to them i think um I mean, one in uh, 29 children uh, suffer from bereavement and I was one of those children. So I think there's always people around that have been there through you and I've been, been through that. So I think just talk about it um, and be open with it and 